Distance learning has caused a major setback for students academically. As a result, Los Angeles Unified School District is considering extending their school year. So should we do the same thing here in San Diego? Former County Board of Education Vice President Mark Powell joins us with his thoughts on all of this. Hi, Mark. How are you? Logan, how are you tonight? Doing great. What do you think about extending the school year here in San Diego because of this extended distance learning that students have been going through? Well, we know that research has shown that um, this shutdown and the distance learning really affected our underserved population of students the most. In fact, it set them back at least a year. In order for them to catch up, we're going to have to give them the opportunity to catch up. And currently, they're not getting that opportunity. For most kids, they're attending in, in the high schools, they're attending two days a week with Fridays virtually off. And with the elementary schools, they're attending at half days. So in order for them to catch up, time on task over time. Why are these underserved communities feeling uh, the pain from this more than, than other communities? Well, I'll give you an example. Let's say that you're a family of four or five, you're living in a two bedroom apartment. Try to find a quiet place to distance learn in a two bedroom apartment when you might have three or four kids all logging on at the same time. It's very difficult. Some of these kids will just shut their computers off. So what we need to do is get these kids back in front of a teacher, in-person instruction, and get that school year extended. Right now, we're at a 180 day school year. In fact, we, we're not even competitive with a lot of other countries. Yeah, let's talk about the country, but, but the idea is to extend it from 180 days to 200 days. And I'm wondering, I mean, is 20 days enough? What do you think about the length of it? 20 days is a good start. You know, if you look at China, for example, their high schools have a 245 day school year all the time. Mexico has a 200 day school year. They're already a month ahead of us without even extending it. Um, Japan is 210. So for our students to be competitive in the job market, in a global economy, because that's what we're in right now, we're in a global economy, they need that time in the classroom learning. And in fact, um, it makes them more competitive when they're going to college. These poor kids, they, they've lost so much. Um, and we also have to deal with the trauma and the anxiety that was dealt them because of these shutdowns. Some of these kids have serious anxiety, stress, and mental health issues that, that can be addressed at the schools. That's it. such an interesting point, Mark. It sounds like not only do we need to have some more school because of the pandemic, but it almost sounds like if we're going to compete with other countries and our students are going to be trying in to get into great colleges and they're going up against students in other countries who maybe have been in school a lot longer, been studying more, and, and we're just at a disadvantage just going to school in the United States, it sounds like. We, we do not need to be at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to academics. And currently, uh, we're not at the top, I'll tell you that. So we need to work harder and we need to work longer. And because of this COVID learning loss, the only option really is to extend the school year, at least for elementary school students. And put it out there, give parents an option. Look, not all parents want the school year extended. Not all students want the school year ex extended. However, I think we should call upon our board members at uh, San Diego Unified to at least put out some options for students and let parents and, uh, and the students work together and, and decide what they want to do. So what would the next step be? It sounds like we're getting the conversation started now. I mean, what would have to happen for this to be implemented, do you think? Well, as a former county board member, I know that superintendents from all over California, they all work together. So I think that the superintendent from LA Unified School District, which is the largest school district in the state, and San Diego Unified School District, which is the second largest district in the state, should get together and discuss how LA is doing it. Because they're offering 10 days, six days of instruction, four days for teacher prep. At least they're offering something. So we got to get those two together and they got to start talking and communicating. We need to do the same. We need to offer our students and our community an option. Do you think other counties are looking into this as well? I mean, it sounds like L.A. is. Now maybe San Diego will look into it. And do you think maybe other states will be doing this too? Other states are already doing it. For example, Chicago is already doing it. In California, we have 58 counties. That's 58 county offices of education. So I suspect that some counties are looking into it. But in San Diego, because we are the second largest district in the, in the state, of 95,000 students just in one district alone, 
they should be looking at it. But and don't exclude the other 41 districts in the county that all should be looking at extending their school year. And there's several ways to do it. it. It's the right thing to do to make up for the learning loss that these kids have. They need the extra time. They need the one on one face time with teachers. Former County Board of Education Vice President Mark Powell. Mark, always great to talk to you. Really interesting discussion. Appreciate that. Thank you, Logan.